Hi. Alright, no need to roll today. Lads, welcome, welcome, welcome. Tuesday, the 2nd of March, here we go. 11 a.m. live workout, myself and Luke again going through with you. And I'm going to go all around and around, um, but we're ready to go. Okay, so um, I'm going to start off today with a 5 minute warm up like we always do, like we're always doing. Um, five different exercises again that we'll go through first. Then after that, we're going to have two workouts today, but they're going to be short. So you're going to do a 6 minute workout, and then you're going to take an 80 second rest, and then you're going to do a 5 minute workout. After that, then we'll finish up like we finished the last couple of days with a Tabata section for four minutes on the obliques, on the side of our core today to finish off, okay? So, starting off today, guys, we're getting straight to it. You're making an awful lot of noise with your collar. An awful lot of noise. We're getting straight to it, okay? We're going to go a minute of broad jumps. After that, then, we're going to go 30 seconds each side on the leg swing. We done them yesterday. After that's finished, we're going to go with a minute of bootstrapper squats, okay? After that, we're going to go with a minute of down ups, and then we're going to finish off with a minute of grinders. We'll show you that exercise later on, okay? So don't worry about that right now. So, starting off, first exercise, let's go to demo. Broad jump, nice light, legs, 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 uh, legs wide. Later on, you might need a box, okay? We'll talk about that later on. Legs, legs wide, broad jumps, out, he can walk back and jump again. Simple enough, could be easier. So we're going to do broad stance and jump forward. Okay. A minute then. Once that's finished, we're going to go a minute of leg swings. So we're going to go 30 seconds each side. Don't kick the dog in the head when you're doing it. Okay. 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left. Nice and simple. After that, we'll go a minute of bootstrapper squats. What's a bootstrapper squat? Have a look here. So you're going to go down. His hamstrings are tight, and so are yours. So it's important. He's going to grab his toes, grow drive his hips up. As far as you can without locking out his knees and then come back down again into the squat. One minute up and down. If you're, if you're fully extending knees, great. If you're not, you just go to wherever you're able. After that, then we're going to go, I'm reading off my list here, lads. We're going to go a minute of down and ups. So just feet back and in. Back, in, and up. We know that from yesterday. And the last one is going to be a minute of grinders. So, grinder, by the way, a grinder is going to be looking to show you. He's going to take a knee to the ground, one leg's up in front, one leg up in front, and then he's going to drop that elbow and rotate. So this elbow now is going to drop down to the toe. Yeah, that elbow. Yeah, keep going, keep going. So watch me. Let's do train them up on this one. So, if I'm here, or you can call it greatest stretch of the world, whatever you want. Left leg or right leg forward, we're going to go hand to the floor. I'm going to, if I can extend the back leg, I'm going to drop the elbow to the toe and then rotate up the roof. So if that leg is forward, it's always that elbow. Okay, left leg forward, left elbow. <laughs> I'm going to go left elbow, left toe, rotate, rotate up. You don't have to remember, remember we're going to follow along here with Luke and myself. Okay, so I'm going to start off, please get yourselves ready. Minute one is a, a minute of broad jumps to kick us off. Just grabbing our clock there and we're ready to roll, okay? 10 seconds, one minute of broad jumps. We're ready to roll. We'll go in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go, let's go. One minute of broad jumps, off you go, lads. Nice and simple start to this Tuesday morning. Nice wide legs, forward and back. I'll tell you when to stop, okay? Where my dog has gone, she's around there somewhere. I have a surprise for her today. Look at that, lads. Look at that. That is, we could put that there, like, underneath the greater than yesterday. Greater than yesterday. Come on, Noel. Here, look at that. Come on. There are 30 seconds gone, lads. Come on. Oh, come on. She's odd today. I think she's wrecked from yesterday's workout, lads. So, 20 seconds to go. Come on, here, 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 here. Come on, come on, come on. No, you have to come over here. 15 seconds to go. After this, we're going to go with a, what's our next exercise? Minute leg swings, 30 seconds each side. We're going to go in five, four, three, two, and one. 30 seconds on the right leg. Come on. Come on. So 20 seconds gone, 10 seconds to go on the leg swing. We 
We'll switch legs. In five, four, three, two, one. Switch your legs. Off you go. Again, lads, any questions you may have on anything, post in the comments. I'll be glad to answer them later on. Um, any suggestions you'd like to see on a daily basis? If you'd like to see more live workouts, leave us know. If you'd like to see more live conversations on different topics, we'll give you a bit more content to watch every single day while you're uh, consuming so much content right now. And um, maybe something we might talk about might get you off Netflix for half an hour and post it in the comments. Okay? Three, two, one, take a break. Now Luke is going to go with a minute of bootstrap for squats. Okay? So he's going to go with hands in the toes, sit down into the squat. And drive up all the legs out there, so like, I thought you'd be out of the squats and jump into the sky. So we'll go full body each day, lads, you know that, okay? So if you do feel like you're tired or stiff or sore from the previous day, then you can supplement in a different exercise. Your legs are sore, just put in a different upper body exercise that's going to benefit you. Again, post it in the comments, ask a question. I'll run around the back of the camera, have a look, and I can give you suggestions live while you're actually in the class. Or later on, maybe if you're doing it from the recording. You've got another 20 seconds to go on the bootstrap. Okay, guys, let's go, let's go. 20 seconds to go on the bootstrap or squat. Keep it going now. 10 seconds to go. No only you in camera. Five, four, three, two, one. Next exercise is going to be our down and up for one minute. Off you go. Down and up. These are slow. We're going to get Luke to stand up on the top, take a second. He's only raising his heart rate gradually. We don't want to max our heart rate through the roof here um, immediately, okay? We're just building up. Just have a talk through what we're doing in the workout in a minute. So as I said, we're going to start off with a six minute workout. We're going to do six minutes of max rounds. I want you to do as many rounds as possible of 10 push-ups, 10 sit-ups, and then 10 box jumps. You do as many rounds as you can in six minutes, followed by a 90 second recovery. And then we're going to do another workout for five minutes of eight squat thrusts. Then we're going to do eight body weight bent over rows, Followed up with eight jumping lunges. Ten seconds left and the down and up. We'll go through all that once we're finished this warm up in one minute. It's one minute for the finish of the warm up. Rest, 30 seconds each side on our greatest stretch in the world or a groin arm. When we're taking that right leg or left leg forward now, back legs extended. Luke is going to go elbow to the follow me. Luke. So, make sure both be in the camera with you lads. So, from here, again. Back leg is extended. I'm going to go left elbow down, touch the toe, and then rotate up. Okay? Yeah, and then switch sides. Alright? I'll give you an extra 30 seconds on this. So, your left leg is forward. Don't stay with that leg forward, it's fine. Now, come down two hands to the ground. Extend the back leg up fully. That's it. Don't keep running around. You have to squeeze your hip leg. Keep the back foot on the ground. Now, squeeze the kneecap and put it straight. So bring this leg, yeah, that's it, that's it, keep it up, and we'll drop that elbow to the top. Okay. Elbow to the front, and then we'll tail up. That's it, oh, yeah. all the way, all the way. This elbow goes up through. That's it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 30 seconds to go. Switch it over if you've done one side, switch it over to the other. 20 seconds to go, guys, keep going. Make sure you switch it over. Do just one side and both sides. 10 seconds to go. Really good exercise for lower back, upper back, all your thoracic hips, the whole lot, and your hip flexors, glutes, all that area. We'll take a break in five, four, three, two, and one. Take a rest. Beautiful. Nice simple warm up. Done. Okay? So take a break, get a drink of water. We're going to go through the exercises we want you to do for the six minute workout first. Okay? So we'll show you all the exercises and then we'll recap in the rest period for the, I'll go through them again before you start the five minute workout, okay? So, first one, I'll leave Luke rest today and I'll demo, okay? So, I'm going to go with um, 10 push-ups. We're going to go six minute arm wrap, this is your first workout. 10 push-ups, 10 sit-ups, you can grab me an arm and actually do it, please. 10 um, push-ups, 10 sit-ups and 10 box-ups. If you have a box at home, use it. 
maybe you don't have a box, maybe you have something like a stool or a chair or something that's stable anyway, okay, or a wall of the block maybe, right? You can do step ups instead if the box jumps are not something that you can do at home. You can do step ups instead and you can wave them up too. So you're going to start off six minutes, you're going to do max run to this. And um, 10 push ups, elbows in nice and tight to the body, all the way down, all the way back up. Note the way I'm not rolling down to the ground and rolling back up. The only thing that's touching the floor is my chest. Of course, my hip is up and my elbows are in tight to my rib cage. Up and down. If I'm doing them on the knees, it's the same thing. The hip is up, core is raised, all the way down, all the way back up, okay? I'm not doing that warming motion down and up to the ground. All right, cool? So that's your first one, 10 push-ups. If 10 push-ups is too much for you, then you can always put in there a set of seven push-ups instead, reduce the reps, or take a break after five. But once the 10 push-ups are done, I'm gonna grab my ab mat, okay? You can grab a pillow from the couch or whatever, and then from here, feet together, make sure you can see both soles of the feet together, I'm going to come down, two hands overhead, make sure the hip stays on the floor, touch the ground, you can see now there's a nice arch here, but my butt is not lifting off the floor, touch the ground, touch the toes. Ten sit-ups, okay? If that's too hard for you, bring the feet in, and just go with your hands on your quads, ten touches the floor, reach over your knees. Simple enough, yeah? You can go with a set of ten sit-ups, okay? Once that's finished, our last exercise, is the box jump. On the box jump, as I said, if you have something at home to do box jumps, do box jumps. Make sure when you land in the box that you stand up tall, lock out your hips, then step up. If you don't have something that's stable, you can do a step up. We're just going to go with five step ups on the right and five step ups on the left. Again, if you don't have a box that's stable, you want to increase the intensity for the step up. Get a set of dumbbells or a set of weights or something weighted and do the step up with the weight. Does that make sense? Okay. So, to recap, our first workout is going to be six minutes of 10 push ups, 10 sit ups, and then finishing up with 10 box jumps or five step ups each leg on that box. Once that's finished, you do as many rounds as you can. You're going to take a 90 second rest and then we're going to go into a five minute workout. The five minute workout is going to be eight squat thrusts. Put my box over there. A squat thrust is a down and up burpee. So you're going to go feet back in wide position. Feet back, feet in, hold the bottom. You're going to do knee to them. We're ready, we're, we're not standing up tall from the bottom of the squat at any stage. Okay? So this is the second workout. Eight squat thrusts. After that's finished, I'm going to do a bent over row. Out. Show me one down so, I can do my bent over row normally if I have dumbbells at home, where I'm going to go in the bent over position so the back is nice and flat, knees are behind the toes, hamstrings are nice and tight, and then just in a sawing motion, up and down. Yeah? Okay? If I don't have a dumbbell, I may have bottles of water, I may have a backpack or something at home, maybe it's a backpack and I can go with a set of eight of these. Yeah? Yeah? If I've got two dumbbells, like we do here, I'm going to do four on the right and then four on the left. Okay? So I can do four on the right, four on the left. Or I can do eight straight up the middle. Okay? If you find it hard to hold that position because it's a little unstable, you can put your hand on a bench or on a wall, or you can also put your knee on a bench or whatever as well, loose singular. Remember, whatever variation you do there, it's going to be a set of eight. Eight rows, either four on the right, four on the left, or eight straight up with two arms at the same time. Our last exercise then is the beautiful jumping lunge. Now, maybe it's really short today, so I do expect jumping lunges, okay? I expect jumping lunges out of these because it's such a short cycle of reps. Legs are wide, got a broad base, back knee touches the floor, nice simple jumping lunges, nice and controlled. Okay, a set of eight. Okay, so to recap on the second workout, eight squat thrusts, eight rows, four on the right, four on the left, or eight up the middle, and eight jump the lunges. I know there's a lot of talking through that workout today, but it'll save us later on, so you don't have any questions, right? Okay.
Are we all ready to go? I'm going to give you 30 seconds, I'm just going to get into the Freddy here. 30 seconds, we're going to start off with a 6 minute workout of 10 push ups, 10 sit ups, and 10. Um, what was the last exercise? Ten options. I have too many things in my head, lads. Okay, so get yourself ready. 30 seconds ready to go. Starting off with a six minute workout. Push-ups, sit-ups, and box-ups. Getting ready, first workout. Ready to go. 10 seconds. All set, lads. Ready to roll. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, let's go. Go for it. 10 push ups to start off, lads. This is 6 minutes. 10 push ups, 10 sit ups, and then 10 box ups, okay? In this box. In camera, please, let's do it. <laughs> 10 push ups, 10 sit ups, 10 box ups, max rounds in 6 minutes. Noel is happy here, lads, off camera with a nice little bone for herself, just in case you're wondering. Nice and simple on the sit up, you can see I'm actually going to loop the toes of his feet together even more. The soles of his feet. Squeeze together. When you put the soles of your feet together on the sit up, you open up your mid leg a little bit more. If this is too aggressive for you, remember to go back to that just sliding motion over your knees with your hands and keep your legs in tight or squeeze together. Maybe sit ups don't work for you. Maybe 10 is too many. Reduce the reps. Remember, it's not one size fits all for everybody. You should be doing whatever suits you, not just what we're doing on camera. 10 box jumps next, or step ups, whatever he prefers, right? Or do 5 and a right, 5 and a left on the, on the step up, or you can do 10 box jumps in total. Check the front camera. Keep going, lads, we're a minute and uh, 20 seconds gone now. 120 gone. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, everybody. Well done, well done. Keep working, keep moving. 130 gone lads, keep moving. Lucas, one round done in a minute and 30. I'm going to try and keep him consistent on that now for six minutes. So do I expect Luke to be nearly finished his second round by the time he gets to three minutes on the clock? Okay? So we get to that three minute mark. If he's on point and he's still moving at the same rate and same pace, he should be finished two rounds somewhere around three minutes. He's at a minute 50, 55 now and he's heading on into the sit ups again. Round two. Six minutes, we want you to push yourself on this, okay? This is not a workout where I want you to hold back. I want you to push yourself for the six minutes. Push yourself through to get through as much as you can. It's interval, you're going to get an 80 second recovery after the six minutes. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, Noel. Oh, I had that. Oh, it's fine. Go <laughs> on. I'll have a stretch first. Two minutes, 30 seconds, guys. Two minutes, 30 gone. We're going 30 seconds now. Luke should be nearly finished his second round. We'll put him under pressure. He's on to his 10 box shots again. We want him to stand up tall in the box. Straight back up. Obviously, the higher the box, the harder this is going to be. For this demonstration, Luke is a low box. If we were in class here, and we were doing this work in class, for him and his level, I'd probably have this box around 24 inches. Okay, for him. For a lady of his level, I'd probably have the box, and he's finished second round in three minutes. It's perfect, same thing as the first one. I'd have the box of around 20 inches, right? So we go 24 inches for males, maximum, and for ladies, about 20 inches for a box room. That'll be standard enough, but again, you scale it down, you know? If you're doing a step up, it might be a little bit higher as well, depending on what kind of weight you're lifting in the step. He's on to his third round push ups. Now it's starting to get a little bit tougher, yeah? All body weight, absolutely no weights, but we're still getting a great workout done this Tuesday morning. 3.30 gone now, guys, in this first section of our workout today. 3 minutes 30. Luke should fit in another two rounds before we finish this six minute workout. Will he though? Will he know well? Will he fit in two more rounds? Huh? <laughs> we learned our lesson from yesterday, lads, so we brought treats today. <laughs> So we're coming up now on four minutes, two minutes to go on this workout, lads. Two minutes to go. Let's go, let's go. Keep going, keep going. Well done, Luke. Well done. Well done, everybody at home. Let's run along. Or if you're doing this later, well done as well. Well done. 
got 45 seconds to go and we'll have five minutes done. Luke was faster on his third set. That third set was faster than his first two. He's getting better as he goes along. We've got just about 90 seconds to go to your 90 second rest period. If you're getting smoked out doing the push-ups, he's on his third round, it's going to get tougher. Break him up. Do five. Rub the hands together. Do another set of five. Push-ups strong for him though. You've got a minute and 15 to your rest. Let's go, let's go. Keep working, keep moving. Off you go. Well done, Luke. Well done, well done, well done. 20 past 11, lads. On this Tuesday morning, and you're already nearly finished. After this is done, what do we have left? We've got a minute left here. We've got a 90 second break. We've got five minutes of the second workout. And then a four minute interval on side planks. That's it. We'll be finishing all by 25 to 12. Let's keep it going. 45 seconds to go on this set. Luke is gonna be ahead, ahead of his first round. He's done this faster than his first round. So he's got 30 seconds now to go. I think he'll squeeze in another set of push-ups before the end. Some of them anyway. 25 seconds to go. Keep it going, keep it going. Let's go, let's go. 20 seconds to go, we'll take a 90 second recovery. Well done Luke, well done, well done, well done. These push-ups are strong lads. Hope you keep going at home, break it down, go to your knees if you need to, shake out the arms, 10 seconds to go. We move all the way to 6 minutes, keep going. 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1, rest, take a break, rest, recover. No it's time, the top's coming off, we'll go for a drink of water, take a break. Get your drink, take a breather, let's recap over what we're going to do now for this more active 5 minutes that's going to come up. Okay. Move your boxes out of the way, you're not going to need them. Remember, you do have a set of dumbbells, kettlebells, backpack, anything for the rows. Take that out now, get it ready. Let's recap all the exercises. We've got one minute before we start. You're going to do eight squat thrusts. Feet back, feet in, hold in the bottom of the squat. Feet back, feet in, hold in the bottom of the squat. That's our first exercise, eight of them. After that's done, we're going to do a set of eight bent over rows. Got my dumbbell or body weight bent over, eight on the right, or sorry, four on the right, four on the left. Once that's done, our last exercise is going to be our eight jumping lunges. Four on the right, four on the left. Eat to the ground. If this gets too tough, bring it back to your normal lunge. We are going in 20 seconds. You want two dumbbells or one? Okay, getting ready to roll. 10 seconds. First exercise is going to be your 8 squat thrusts. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go, let's go. Off you go. 8 squat thrusts. Have you got the hiccups? <laughs> Have you got the hiccups? <laughs> I've got the hiccups. I've got the hiccups. Coming up towards two minutes gone now. 
on our second workout, eight jumping lunges. So we'll on loop. We'll on everybody at home. Keep it going, lads. This is very, very short. This can really start your day well. Keep it going. It's really short. We're two minutes gone, three minutes to go. He's back into the eight squat trust again. Let's go, let's go. Keep working, keep going. We'll on loop. Great stuff. Remember now we hold the bottom of the, uh, the squat trust. So we are. Coming up, come back, come in, hold, and then up. Yeah. So you stay in the bottom of the spot and you come up and you up and up. That's it, beautiful. And then up and up. That's it, lads. Well done. Well done, well done. Keep working, keep moving. Two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes. Coming up on three minutes. Only two minutes to go. Only clean your legs. Pull up your head a bit, pull up your head a bit now, straighten out your back, that's it, beautiful. You need to keep your back flat like this, lads, okay? You're doing them bent over rows, you need to keep your back flat, otherwise you're going to put weight through your lower back, we don't want that, okay? Alright? Three minutes gone, let's go, let's go, two minutes left. Three minutes gone, two minutes left. So well on, well on, boy. well on. Less than two minutes to go, lads. We're coming up on 90 seconds to go. Keep blowing through the rounds. Let's go, let's go. Back to the squat truss. Hold at the bottom, straight back down. Well done, Luke. Well done, well done, everybody at home, lads. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Nice work, everybody. 90 seconds left. 90 seconds left, Noel. Keep working, lads. Well done, keep it going. Nice work, everyone. Keep going lads, well done, well done. Nearly there. Keep working, coming up on one minute left. One minute, one minute. Well done, well done. Well done, Luke. Well done. Well done. Well done. 45 seconds, guys. 45 seconds to go. That's it. Keep going. Last 30 seconds. Luke is flying. Nearly there. 30 seconds to go, lads. Well done. Well done, Luke. Well done. Well done. Well done. He'll finish out this set. And get through the rows anyway. A flat back. Keep going. Bent over. We're going 20 seconds. 20 seconds left to get through the rows. 15 seconds to go. Last 10 seconds. Last reps. Last 5 seconds. 4, 3, 2, 1, done. Nice work, everybody. Well done, Luke. Well done, everybody at home is following along, lads. If we do this in the recording later, again, well done. It's a short workout, but full body. We've got one little thing to finish off, like each day that we do these, and we're going to do a finisher with the back, Tabata finisher section, okay? What's that going to look like? Tabata, again, to recap over for anyone who doesn't know, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, and we're going to do this for four minutes, okay? So, side plank drops, options. You're going to go and do a side plank first. On the side plank, we'll show you all what that is. Elbow under the shoulder, feet stacked over each other with a puppy behind you. And then from here, driving that hip up. My main goal is to keep this hip high, okay? If I can, I keep that arm up, hold here, 20 seconds work. Now, that's the baseline. This is what I want you to start with, working the obliques down here. If I can, I can do two, give me the dumbbell. Now, I can go one or two options. I can do drops, where there's no dumbbell, just dropping down and up for 20 seconds, or I can get the dumbbell, put it on my hip or some sort of a way, and go with 20 seconds of dumbbell, side plank, hip drops, okay? Whatever variation you want to use there is absolutely fine. It can be static, it can be hip drops with no weight, or it can be hip drops with weight. It's gonna be 20 seconds on the right, 10 seconds off, then 20 seconds on the left, 10 seconds off, four times. Got it? Okay, we'll go. Ready to roll, so oblique work. Ready to roll. We're 
We're going to go in 10 seconds. Come on over here, girl. I'm sure, guys, we just had a wiggle on the ground. Three, two, one, off you go. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Okay? Noelle is watching intensely. <laughs> Be good. Three, two, one, rest. Opposite side, same thing. Five, four, three, two, one, off you go. Let's go, let's go. Opposite side, same thing. We'll have one done after this. Come over here. Come on. Ten seconds gone. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. That's one round done. We'll have three more rounds of this, okay? Three, two, one, off you go. Side plank. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Well done, Luke. Well done, everybody at home. Keep going now, lads. Well done. Five, four, three, two, one, off you go. No. No, no. Good girl. Oh, good girl. Well done. Well done. Give me. Yeah, well done. Well done. Keep going, last five, three, two, one, and rest. That's two full sets done. Two full sets done, two to go. Five, four, three, two, one, off you go. Let's go, let's go. Keep working out, guys. Keep moving, keep working. Noel, what are you doing? Just keeping me busy. <laughs> taking the, uh, the tall and pain <laughs> off the <of> my <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey! Three, two, one, and rest. Switch it over. We got one to go after this, lads. Three, two, one, off you go. Let's go, let's go. Keep working, keep moving. Nearly there, nearly there. Ten seconds. I wonder if you have a puppy licking your head while you're doing side planks. Huh? Two, one, and rest. That is a full three rounds done. We have one round to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Well done, guys. Well done. Well done. So well. Keep going. Last five. You can't get notes until the dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's pressure. Rest. Come on. <laughs> get your baby or dog to underneath you and that will make you stay up. <laughs> Three, two, one. Off you go. Let's go, let's go. Last one. Go ahead. Go ahead. Last one, lads. Last one. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Well done, Luke. He's the one doing the work again, that's his huge one. Um, well done, Luke. Well done, everyone at home. Guys, have a couple of stretches for you to finish off. Are you going to do any stretches? Huh? Don't dog, don't dog, huh? You can learn a lot from a dog with stretching. Um, some simple ones for you because of today's stuff. Think about a simple seated stretch, okay? I'm only going to give you one, all right? Now, we all struggle with this one. So here, sitting down, you've got your back to a wall, okay? And then, when I get the legs out wide, I can either get a, a stool from the table or a kitchen, kitchen chair and use that as an anchor. So, put this out in front of me, legs out wide, I'm nowhere near with this pancake formation that I can see. Such well rounded flexibility gurus and yoga and stuff, too. But I'll put a weight out in front of me or a dog and grab it. Where it comes to me, 
would stretch out the lower back, hips, hamstrings, the whole lot, and just sit there for a good two to three minutes. It couldn't be simpler, okay? Just two to three minutes of sitting there. Anything else that feels stiff or tight might be a good idea to go through some um, hip flexor work today. So, one leg forward, knees underneath, knees out over the heel, and then from here we're just pushing through the hip and holding this position here nice and tall. You've got a good stretch down here, hip flexor area, down into your quad. Okay? Probably some bright news, probably about a minute each time. Alright guys? So that is all of Tuesday wrapped up. Again, we'll learn the loop, we'll learn the audio at home. We're back to you tomorrow. Um, again, any suggestions for us lads, we'd be glad to, uh, to oblige. If you'd like to see more leg workouts, Again, we're free and easy. This is our content right now, and this is the way we're running our business from the point of view of online. Um, any questions on anything in particular, send them on to us, and we'd be uh, glad to help. Well done, everybody, and we'll catch you tomorrow. Boom.